So guys, welcome back to My Summer Car. Today, it's Sunday, the end of the week. And uh, since nothing is really open, well, the mechanic's not open, so we can't really get any tyres um, that obviously were available the last episode. Uh, we can't get those. We can't bring any scrap to uh, Flatari. We can't do anything, really, with the mechanic-wise. But um, we're going to have to recover our van today because last episode we had a little bit of an accident. Um, so we're going to have to take the truck. But um, some time ago I did have uh, an issue with the engine. Uh, I'd like to show you why. Uh, this is the reason. This head gasket, it's broken. Um, essentially that was letting fuel into the engine, which is hence why you're seeing all the smoke. The, uh, yeah, and I thought it was uh, just, just a problem anyway. It wasn't. It was actually because that was broken. That's one of the first parts to go on the actual car itself, but all condition is randomised when you start the game anyway. Um, so, just happens that that head gasket was, you know, in really bad condition. But, we can replace that with the uh, Flatari, but we can't get it today because he's closed. So that's a little bit of a pain, we're going to have to wait till uh, Monday to do that. Um, but, we're going to... Uh, recover our van but the reason I'm taking this toolbox is that we've got um, a car that we need to steal that's right we've got a new car um, that was available in like this update I'm playing on as well as the gambling guy so the gambling guy has the car and essentially you can gamble with him up to 4,000 marks I think the limit is then you can start to bet your car so the Satsuma um, if you win that, well, you, you win his scrappy car and keep yours. If you lose, well, you lose your Satsuma and that's it. Um, then you can bet your house. So if you win, you get the place where the, the guy is. And if you lose, well, he gets your house. And you can't go back there ever again. But um, we're going to gamble with him at some point, I think. Uh, probably in the near future. I can say very near future because I've, I haven't really explored too much of the update stuff. Um, next update, there's going to be a good update coming. I guarantee it. I don't know if you've seen any experimental stuff, but wow. The stuff that's being added and the stuff that's being improved. Oh my god. This is probably the best update in the whole of my summer car history. So, I'm, I can't wait for that. Um, but, however, in the meantime, if it does come out when... Before, well, sorry, before I upload the next video, um, the video I'll upload will obviously be on the update, the present one. So, just be mindful of that. I'm not too sure. I don't think it will happen, but in case it does, it's not the new update I'm playing on. Um, I'll say when I'm playing on the new update. Right, we'll turn on the radio. And then we crash We crash into the wall. Uh, wall? Lamppost. Crash into a lamppost. Right, so that's normal. So we'll, uh, we'll have to take our beer now, because our beer is now out of the truck. So that's always fun. So we're going to get our van first, or try to get our van first, and then we'll uh, head over, see if we can steal that car. Um, that'll be great. So I'll, I'll pick this up um, when we get to where the van is. Right then, here we are, and look who's at the side of the road. I might have been fine there. I was speeding, I think. Actually, no, I wasn't. Never mind, I was doing 70, so it was all good. Scumbag police. Again, right. The amount of times I've been on this road and the police have not showed up is unbelievable. And it's just this point where they show up. Always makes no sense. When you least expect them, they appear. Well, um... Mr. Police Officer here is going to get blinded by my headlights where while he, uh... Hands the breathalyzer over to me, and you're not going to see any alcohol because we haven't had any, and uh, we're safe because we're under the speed limit. Fantastic. A good day for us. Oh, wait, I can't get back in. Right, I can't get back in the side. Alright, so this game likes to kill you, so it obviously wants you to go over to the driver's side, get in on the driver's side, and then if you don't look, well, there'll be a car coming and then you'll die. That's essentially how it works. This game... That's its core algorithm, if you like. Its core trolling mechanism, you could say. Right, we'll uh, we'll get going. 
the van is not too far up the road actually. So we'll uh, we'll get away from these police officers, the scumbag police. And uh, yeah, we'll head just up the road to the van. And then we'll try to recover it, but last time I did end up having a big massive accident and I don't know if it's on its side, because if it's on its side we're screwed. Because there's, there's trees there, if I remember, there's trees and then, you know, it's, it's very difficult, it's very steep, so you can't really drive anything out of it. And you can't really recover or anything. You can drive it out, but it'll take a lot of uh, patience to get it out, I suppose. That's how that side of the road works. I don't know. But there's our van. Oh, God, it's toppled. Right, we'll park it up here. That's what I didn't want. I didn't want it to be toppled. Anything. But it's toppled. Oh, gosh. Right, we're going to have to try and do our best to get this righted. Because I don't want to have to uh, rely on anything else, really. Because the van is what it is, isn't it? It's my uncle's van. It means the world to him. All right, uh, I'm just gonna stop now. Uh, yeah, this is this is this is your uncle's van, so he's gonna be pretty pissed off if you put it in a ditch. So we're gonna try and get it righted, and it's gonna be very difficult, as you can see. If it was on flat ground, it'd be so much easier. You know, it's a lot easier to self right, but at this point, it's impossible because it's it's on a slope. It's not moving. It's bogged down, and then I don't know what to do. Because look at look at the surrounding terrain; it's all hilly, and we're going to try and push it out, but it won't. It isn't going to work. But meanwhile, on the road, look at this carnage. Look at this carnage. A van's just crashed into a yellow. Uh, sorry, a, a red car, not a yellow car. Yellow car. Um, the uh, the yellow van's crashing into red and. Green right door car. Have you stolen a panel off green car's car? Have you? We have a thief in our midst. Not the van. That guy. Anyways, right, we'll uh we'll see if this carnage gets better, because this guy's gonna try and get out of the mess. What the heck? What's he doing? No, oh, you gotta Alright, he's crashed. He ain't getting out of that. 100% guarantee that he's not getting out. I feel sorry for that guy. Um, but... Whoa. Did you just see that? The amount of carnage I've just seen. Oh my god, there's a red car there. There's a truck coming. Oh my god, is the truck gonna hit? Is the truck gonna... <gasps> oh my god. The truck... Nearly absolutely smashed mine off the road and smashed into that car. What the heck have I just witnessed? This is unbelievable. Honestly, we have a car trap down where our van is. We have carnage on the road. Um, I can't actually get this ra uh, van to self right. Um, so I'm just going to give up at this point because we have more important things to do than uh, recover our van. Um, we have more important things like stealing a car. So, we'll... Right, that carnage is cleared up. So we'll, uh, we'll gather our stuff that's fallen out of the van and we'll pick it up when we uh, go and steal that old scrap heap of a car. Right then, we're all fueled up. Just need to go in and pay. Um, good old Timo for the fuel. Although I'm not going to sit there for ages and fuel the thing up. Um, 309 marks isn't too bad. And we really don't need a lot of fuel to be honest, but I'm just fueling up a little bit more just in case. And we do. Because we're going to have to leave the truck there. Unfortunately. When we steal the car. Which is a little bit sad. Uh, I never really used the truck anyway, so it's kind of not sad in that respect. But um, We might need to go back for it at some point because we're going to have to... You know, we're going to have to use it to tow scrap um, stuff, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a little bit of an inconvenience doing that, having a trip back there all the time. But um, we'll get going. Because the, the car, where the car's located, it's just literally up the road. 
I just need to go straight on essentially. So going down the lop dirt track, well, the dirt track to lop. Um, and then it's off on a little road on the right. And uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to spot because it's literally just a big massive road on the right and it wasn't there before. Right, we'll, uh, we'll get going. Yellow car needs to die. I've just realised that. And so does that other car. That follows him around, so we're going to have to do that at some point. We're going to have to kill those guys. Because they are just making my life hell at the moment. Going to the shop. Here we are. Just in time. Right. We're going to park it up. And this is all that there is. Essentially, there's a save point on the, on the left. Um, which is a good job, because gambling... Oh boy, you need to save. You need to save when you gamble car and uh, your house and all that. Um, we've got firewood here. Um, I think this is the aftermath of what happened after a fire got out of control. And burnt down this little thing. So this was a house. Um, there's a shack there. There's a, there's a little jetty, I think there is there. Um, this little shack here is where the gambling guy is. Um, he's not here at the moment. I think he only appears at night time. Um, we have some cupboards here that we can't open. We've got a table where we can sit at and then we've got a bench for some reason. Um, over here though, this is where the car is. It's, it's, it's not hard to find the car. Little tractor wheel here. So this is probably where the tractor came from, I suppose. Uh, but here's the car. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, why do you want to steal this? Well, I haven't really experimented with this version, and I, ha and I need to get this car. This car is a requirement for me, because our van's trapped. Just another vehicle we can have, I suppose. Right, that's all running. It's very rusty on the interior. We've got a sleeper section at the back there, so we can actually use it like the truck, um, but a more convenient car to use day to day, rather than the truck. And it's stalled. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I get this car and it stalls. Well, we've got it running anyways. Um, we have very little fuel left, so we're going to go and fuel this up. I'm nearly stalling it. We're going to fuel it up and then we're going to hit the highway and see if, we can, uh, see if we can see what the top speed of this thing is. This is such a rust bucket, I'm not even going to lie. Right, here we are. We've got all the fuel we need in the world at the moment. Um, hitting the highway in fourth gear, doing 80 kilometers an hour. We're going to see how fast this goes, but I don't think we'll reach top speed with this. Um, we need to max out all the gears, essentially. At the moment, well, we haven't. The, the acceleration is quite poor, let's be honest. If you, if you drive it normally, it is literally the worst acceleration. It's probably worse than the tractor accelerating, to be honest. But look at it. It's just, it's just smoking. What the heck? Out, out the back, it's just ridiculous. Oh my god, this is such a rust bucket. But I think the engine's been souped up though, because you can see that thing underneath the uh, the orange pipes, and I think that's a modification to the engine itself. Um, which will make me believe that this thing will go pretty quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around this bend, and then we're going to probably max it out. But I don't know what the fuel consumption of this thing is. That's one thing I have to test. Because um, I, I really don't know. It could be good, could be bad, could be really, really bad. And I want to chuck it in a ditch or something. But oh my god, look at the acceleration in third. Look at this. I'm maxing it. Oh my god. 110 it'll do in that gear before you max it out. Right, let's see if we can get up to a... 100, like we're going to aim for 140, but we're probably not going to get it because we're probably going to run out of highway at this point. Um, 118, I think we're doing now, kilometres an hour. It's very bumpy, this part. I'm going to have to wait till we uh, get rid of the uphill section before we uh, absolutely fly with this thing. Hopefully the, uh, the police are not around the corner, because if they are, well, we're screwed because they'll catch us speeding. Well, this is only a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Oh, my God, I was right. Oh, my God, the cops. The scumbag police. Again. Right. I don't know if I have a speed in there. 
the moment of truth to find out if we were speeding isn't is a uh, it's about to be revealed right you stopped us once already dude come on not breathalyzing me again on this time they've just driven up the bloody road right I don't I think we've escaped fines right we're getting back in our car either way because I am not waiting around oh no oh no I was speeding Dude. No. I don't know if you pick up the fine. I really don't know if you don't click on the letter. Do you actually pick up the fine that the guy holds? Do you actually pick it to pick the fine up? Because I'm going, so see you later. Bye. They're not gonna chase me. But I'm getting out of there, I ain't risking it. Full acceleration. Full acceleration here. We're going way under the speed limit. Oh boy, that was that was atrocious. We got fined. Scumbags. The scumbag police. Right, we're back at the house. Thankfully, this uh, this rust bucket belongs here. So yeah, that's our that's that's what we stole. That is the that is the I don't know how to describe it. This is lit that was literally the first Grand Theft Auto we've ever done. Right, it's Monday. I slept off the night. Um, so we're gonna pick up this phone. <gasps> we've got parts. I did order some parts. I was wondering when they were gonna turn up and uh, luckily it was today. Fantastic, so we can't drive the car. Um, we're gonna have to drive this thing again. The rust bucket. God, I just don't want to stall this thing again. Oh, right. We're going to pick it, pick up the uh, the postal order. And I think Flitari... Yes, I remember. Flitari did say that he had the tyres. So we're going to have to pick them up on the way back from the shop. Um, we're going to have some new parts by the end as well. Um, the old head gasket as well. We're going to replace that on the way. So effectively... We're doing about three jobs in one here. Picking up the postal order, getting a new head gasket, and picking up the tyres. Simple. Just very, very simple. Right, let's set off. Oh, stall it. Uh, well, saying that. Right, pay our postal order. We've got 5,904 marks left now. Gosh. Oh, God. Right, this is going to be a bit of a squeeze. I think if we if we had the van, this would be less uh, annoying. But we don't. So we've got about four different parts here. Um, eventually, I made it work, though. Look at that. Look, at, that's what the roof rack's for. God knows how I'm getting the tires in here. How am I going to get the tires? Ah, oh, we're just whacking myself in the first. How am I going to get the tires in here? Have a beer because this is stressful and we're surrounded by parcels. <laughs> surrounded by junk in the car. Right, get this car rolling. Right, come on. Oh, for God's sake. Come on. Right, that, that got going. And we're on half a gauge of petrol already. Um, fair to say it's pretty bad at fuel consumption, not going to lie. Right, I'm going to have to be very, very careful. I'm literally going to have to drive at the speed limit on the roads to avoid that thing from falling off the top. Oh, my God. It's just balancing. It's just balancing a parcel on top of the roof. Oh, my God. Honestly, if I make it out alive with this, this will be fantastic. Oh, boy. We'll pick it up back at the house, though, once we've got all the stuff. Here we are. Home, sweet home. And uh, nothing fell off, thankfully. Um, we'll just shove all our parcels in the garage. These are all the rally stuff we need, or all the stuff we need in general for... Well, apart from one thing, I suppose. Oh my god, those flew right out of the back. It is the work of Satan, this. Gosh, right. There's our road tyres, um, we're going to have to fit those on. I have to run all the way over here because the tyre absolutely flew out. So, um, 
grab that. You can't throw these far. I thought you could, but you, you can't. It's just terrible. These are the road tires you need to pass the inspection. You need the basic road tires or the, the other ones. There's two road tire types, but I just went for the cheapest one because I'm only going to use them once. Go for the other ones, but I don't really see a point. You'll only use these tyres if you really go on roads. Um, but you're going to need the rally tyres for the rally. And uh, it doesn't really seem much like... It, there's no point in taking the tyres off because... I mean, you can, but it's just a bit of a faff on trying to get them back on again for the rally. Oh, who's this phoning now? Jeez, man. Oh, firewood guy. The guy goes through, through like a load of firewood. Well, at least this guy um, helps out income to take over, I suppose, because that's the, the only thing I really do um, a lot of the time. In fact, it's quite a profitable thing to do. Um, but we've pretty much got all the parcels out. I think we've got another two to uh, take out. We've got this little package. Um, we've actually unboxed some fender flares and um, a, a really... Um, What's the word? Big body kit. I don't know. It, there's very little room to, uh, you know, for, for clearance and all that. But we've got that. We've got some, uh, you could say a window spoiler. I say I call it a window spoiler. To go on the back of the windows, we've got the twin carburetor engine with the air filter. So we can take the big, massive, ugly thing off. Um, but we'll do that next time, I think. But for now, we'll just literally put on the head gasket and just slot it in as our new head gasket. Perfect. I'll put the rest back on later because it's too much of a faff to do it now. We've got the bucket seat, we've got the harness, we've got more rims for the rally tyres, um, we've got this window grill. We'll just snap that on. It's no bolts, just snaps right on. Um, we're going to see what these fender flares look like. I'm I'm inclined to know what they, uh, they look like on the car. Perhaps it'll protect the fenders. Or just not, as the, as the case may be. Oh, they look pretty smart in white on the green. I think. Yeah, they don't look too bad with the green, do they? I don't think it does anyway. Although yellow might be better. That will be pretty good. Um... So, in terms of the rally, then, we've got everything. So, all we need to do now is pass the inspection, get the... I think we've got the fire extinguisher. And that's... So we've bought all that stuff, like, really early on, before we even need it. Um, which is good, because then you've got it when you need it. But then, um, yeah, we're going to have to have a gear change as well, so that's going to be a bit of a pain. So, we're going to see what this looks like. The front spoiler... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that does anything. I don't know if it makes anything better. It might make it worse. I, I I don't know. But for cornering purposes, I'll put it on. Oh my God! Look at that. It's so low down. I don't understand. It's so low down. Right. We're going to see what colour we can paint these um, fender flares. I think I'm thinking yellow. I'm really thinking yellow. Right, let's let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's not too bad actually. You know what? I'm liking the yellow. I think that's decent. Yellow and green go pretty well together, I think. Although I do need to really like change the bonnet and the the, uh, the hood, the hood and the uh, the boot lid. Sorry, I need to change those because it looks a bit crap. Right, let's see. Oh, it's yellow. The sun will just reflect off that and blind me. There you go. It's pretty much uh, a flower, you could say. Green and yellow. I think I quite like that. But guys, that's it for this episode of my summer car. Um, next time, out the rally. It's going to happen. Um, I'm going to do a lot of stuff between now and then. Um, so there's going to be a bit of a jump between the episodes. So I'm just trying to get everything sorted for the rally, but leave a like if you have enjoyed, subscribe for more indie and simulation game content, content. 
join me next time for the rally. Until then, I shall see you all next time.